I love you, my Lord, my strength. My Lord, you are my mountain fortress and my deliverer, my God, my mountain, the one in whom I take refuge, my protector, the source and strength of my salvation. You are my stronghold. My Lord, the one worthy of praise, to you I called out for help, and I received help. I was liberated from those hostile to me, for I was surrounded by the entrapments of death, torrents of worthlessness, trenches of death. These terrified me. The nets of the underworld surrounded me. The snares of death had come to greet me. And in my distress, I shouted to you, my Lord. It was to you, my God, that I cried out for help. And you heard my voice. In your heavenly abode, you heard me. You heard my screams for help. And what you heard made you angry. And in response, the earth rose and fell loudly. It quaked as never before. The very foundations of the mountains trembled, moving ceaselessly and restlessly as they too loudly rose and fell. Smoke came from your nose and fire from your mouth burning coals that consumed whatever they touched. And the sky bowed low as you descended. There were darkened storm clouds under your feet, and you drove upon a cherub, your living chariot, and you flew. You swooped down on the wings of the wind. You made the darkness to be your cover surrounding yourself with the masses of tumultuous storm clouds. Before you, and out of the flashing brightness that lanced through the darkness, came hailstones and coals of fire, coming and passing through your clouds. You, my Lord, caused the sky to thunder, as you, the Most High, raised your voice the hailstones and coals of fire. You let loose with your arrows and scattered my enemies. With great flashes of lightning, you caused them to scurry away in confusion. My Lord, at your expression of disapproval, at the merest breath of your wrath, even the deepest valley in the sea becomes visible and uncovered. The very foundation of the created world becomes exposed. And you reached down from heaven and caught hold of me. You pulled me out of those deep waters. You snatched me away from my formidable and fierce enemy and from those who hated me because they were too strong for me. When they accosted me, it was my day of final disaster. But you, my Lord, were my support. You freed me from their grasp. You rescued me because you are delighted and pleased with me.
my lord, you have treated me according to my loyalty, according to the cleanliness of my hands, my unstained loyalty to you, and you have returned loyalty to me. For I have stuck to the agreements, to the conduct that my Lord requires, and I am not guilty of turning away from my God. For all your decisions, your judgments, are present with me. I have not pushed aside your laws or your decrees. With you, I have been full of integrity, and I have kept myself from misdeeds from the sin to which I would otherwise be prone. And you, my Lord, have paid me back in kind. You have given a very appropriate return for my loyalty. For you do see that my hands are indeed clean. With the faithful, you prove yourself faithful. With the strong and the blameless, you prove blameless. And to the honest man, you prove honest. Yet, to those who are violent, you will act violently. And with the twisted and the false, you prove full of twists and turns. For you help the humble, but the arrogant you humiliate. My Lord, you have caused my lamp to shine forth. My God, you shine your light upon my distress. You illuminate my darkness. Because of you, I was able to break through these barriers. Because of you, my God. I was able to escape over that wall. God, your ways, your methods are sound. They are full of integrity and perfect. The words of my Lord have passed through my fiery ordeals and have proven true. He is the protection of all who take refuge in him. For who is God besides our Lord? And who is a rock, a place of safe refuge, except our God, the God who surrounds me with strength and makes my way, my conduct, to be impeccable, full of integrity, and without reproach. You make my feet to be like those of a deer. You set me sure-footed upon the mountain ridge. You teach my hands how to fight, and you train my arms to be strong, so that they may pull back on a bow of bronze. You have given me the protection of your deliverance and your right hand supports and sustains me. And your humility, meekness, and gentleness make me great. You have given me a broad, flat space with firm footing on which to step. And my feet have not stumbled. I did pursue and catch my enemies, and I did not turn away until I had put an end to their hostilities. I have smashed their ability to harm me, and they are no longer able to rise against me, for they have fallen under my feet. For you surrounded me with the strength for the battle, and you have caused those who stood against me to bow down before me. 
you have made those of hostile intent to flee from me, and those who hated me to be ruined. Oh, they screamed out for help, but there were no great heroes to save them. They even cried out to you, my lord, but you refused to answer them. My enemies have been crushed, scattered, like so much dust in the wind, like the mire in the streets. They have been thrown out. You saved me from the hostilities of those people. You have installed me as the leader of nations. Peoples I have never heard of now serve me and are my subjects. Even when all they hear about me is hearsay, yet still they hear me, they listen and obey. These foreign sons cringe and fawn upon me as they feign obedience. Now they do so because they are now discouraged and have lost heart. And so they come trembling with fear from out of their prison, the prison that is their stronghold. For my Lord is alive and well. Blessed and full of strength is my rock, my safe refuge. And the God of my deliverance will be exalted, my God, the one who avenges me as he puts to flight and subdues these nations, causing them to bow to my authority the one who saves me from those of hostile intent. Yes, you exalt me by standing me above my enemies. You have rescued me from the violent. My Lord, therefore I will praise you among the nations. Of your name will I sing, magnifying your rescue of the one you made king, and how you are kind and good to the one you anointed, to David and to his descendants forever.